Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon uh, so you can get my uploads and my tips and my other gameplays. So guys, uh, going to be rolling with the Chicago Bears, the Carolina Panthers playbook, going against the gentleman uh, playing the Philadelphia Eagles. And I will be very upfront with you guys that this guy was a bear to slow down. Uh, he had um, a very simple scheme. He ran a couple different plays, um, but the plays that he ran were extremely efficient and actually picked up um, a, a strategy from his gameplay. So basically what he was using was a slide type, um, like a, a, a comeback slide type play. So if you take a look, it's a play action sprint, halfback flat, uh, flat, and he actually used different variations of it. And what he was doing is he was hitting this slide with the running back in the flat, and it was in a weird area of the field that you really couldn't stop uh, with the play, it was actually it just it was one of those things where you had to put some kind of a manual uh, player out there uh, to be basically stop it. So um, <clears throat> this is a particular play was very di was difficult for me to stop, and he built this his entire offense around that play, and he ran different variations of it, but he, uh, out of different formations, but very very difficult to stop. And once you started once you started adjusting to it, uh, he would actually start making different types of plays. So right here, once again, he settles down to the flat. All my defenders pull up, and he takes an easy 10-yard gainer down to the flat against me. So I'm still trying to stay with the 52 defense. I'm having pretty good success online, but this guy basically shredded up. And he had a little uh, a deep dig route that uh, just ate up this play too. So he would hit uh, off to the right and off to the left, just basically making my user. So I tried to put a yellow on the back end side. I did hard flats here, anticipating he'll try to run, go to the flat. And uh, basically, he just checked it down. He threw the ball really quick. My hard flat couldn't get to it, and that was a hard, a hard situation. So going to cover two right here, go with hard flats, and look at this. He's got a deep comeback route that he hits the back of the seam uh, against cover two. So he's just chipping away down to the 20-yard line right here. So come back with the, with the cover two blitz. I got a yellow zone on the back end side. He goes back to the flat. Once again, he's able to go and pick up a good eight yards. He just keeps running this play, and he's shredding me. Seven for seven right now. He's got all of his reads. Now he jumps into single back uh, bunch right here. And I, I try to go ahead and, and make a little bit of adjustment, put some flats out there, some yellow zones. And he's got me dialed up for a, for a touchdown play right there. He actually puts some kind of a manual adjustment. So up 7 to nothing. So um, anytime that you play against somebody that just shreds you on offense and just basically just eats you up, the stress level um, when you're playing offense just becomes a little bit higher. Uh, you make you make your reads a little, a little bit faster and a little bit a uh, little bit quicker. Now he was he was using nickel blitz against me, and I've got uh, basically a play that shreds um, uh, cover two defense. So I'm able to go and pop him right down the middle of the seam, get it down uh, to the 45 yard line. And right here, I try to I do a nice little inside run uh, with Howard um, uh, out of the triple option. And then I come back uh, to uh, corner um, corners right here. I threw right in the coverage. That was just a bad read. I got away with one right there. So third and five situation. Do a little in route. Streak up my outside receiver. I've got the, the, the block and release by Cohen. Defender actually goes out the Cohen. I throw it out there, and the ball gets overthrown. So first and five situation. Going back to the cover two beater. And I streak up my, my tight end. And he actually follows it. I do a pass lead to the inside and get a really good animation past him and get it down to the, the end zone right here. And I actually just hit him with a little hitch route and I'm able to go and get a touchdown to tie it up. So 7-7 seven, seven type of situation. Three minutes left in the game. He goes into um, a bunch set and actually hits me with crossers. One of the plays that's, uh, you know, uh, people were using uh, a lot online at the very beginning of the season. Now I go into cover two right here, look for the crossers, and I get a nice little block shed. Just sending three people, I actually get them uh, down. So second and two situation, he's in, uh, looks like single back, trio or trips off to the right. He does this comeback and this little flat rod, and he just gets rid of the ball so quick, and it's just, in, it's like in a weak part of the zone. So he, he's discovered something right here. So go with hard flats once again. Uh, he's in gun bunch. And uh, he's using verticals on this particular play, but look at this! Look at this play that he does. He does a deep comeback route, 
And because of the hard flat, my defender comes down and he actually just pops a deep comeback rod. So he wasn't stretching the ball long. Like, he wasn't going down the seat and sidelines or anything like that, but he just kept beating me up underneath. Uh, so right here in um, a split black type of situation, uh, once again, I'm actually trying to take away one of his reads. He actually does a little in route or out route uh, with his defender. He actually you no know, huddles me, so a minute and 21 seconds left. Once again, I've got yellow zones all over the place. Try to take the crosser off to the right, and right here, patiently, patiently, I, he comes down, lets this guy come down, and actually just uh, just falls down. So right here, back to the cover two out of the nickel defense or the the five two defense, uh, just trying to go ahead and I switch up, I think, into a man version of this blitz, and right here I actually get a nice sack against him because I messed up his reads a little bit. He was expecting that cover two shell. And when I went in the man, I actually messed him up a little bit. So right here, I take my outside defenders and actually put them, I think, in hard flats. And then he actually makes an adjustment. I go with a, a deep uh, a blue in the middle and then user of the one uh, defender right there. I'm going for, trying to take away the crosser. He takes the crosser on the back end side, makes a perfect read. Uh, with the crossers, one of the older plays. So now I come into, I was like, I, I really didn't have any defense to this guy. I was, I was very frustrated with this entire situation. So I come out of the double A gap just out of frustration. And sure enough, I get a blitz right in here and sack him right down, um, down in the end zone. You know, huddles, 24 seconds left. Go for the little crosser and I actually get a blitz on him again. And right here, he no huddles again, about 10 seconds left. It kind of risky for him to do that. And I actually misjudge. He actually jumps down, drop, drops to the ground, and actually takes a timeout right here. And ends up kicking the field goal uh, for to go up uh, 10 to 7. So uh, he's just shredding me on offense. Like this guy, it, I, my defense is just not a factor at all. I'm not adjusting to him. And every time I do make an adjustment, it feels like he's three times ahead of me. So very important on this drive that I go ahead and get touch, get a touchdown. I need to get some points on this and go up on a score on him and hopefully get a stop. But this guy's offense is just, just unbelievable. And he's like, he's just very, very simple right in there. Nice little move. Actually, he, he split the gap. He almost had me in the, in the end zone or actually in the back backfield. Uh, so right here, go with, um, with verticals. He gets a block shed right there to go ahead and get me second and 16 right here. I go with the inverted, uh, veer. And uh, the route right here, the crossing route, actually gets pulled up by that wheel route, so I'm able to go and settle down with it. Third and fourth situation, realized I didn't actually have all my audible set up in the split back situation. But you can see right here that the, the flat's wide open, and Cohen drops the ball. That guy never drops the ball. So right here I actually go into a slot, a slot post. I really love this particular play. This is great. I do a block and release. Block and release was actually uh, was not covered, so I checked down to it. I'm able to go and pick up a first down because all of his guys float up. So go into spacing, uh, clear out, uh, take Graybill. I'm going to think I'm going to slide him over. I streaked up Burton on the back end side. And basically I'm looking for um, the, the, uh, the slant route right here, able to go and get a nice little uh, nine yard gainer. Now I go into spot. Go ahead and take Gabriel. I'm going to slide him over. I streaked up Cohen. Uh, and, and I'm just going to basically go ahead and look underneath with a spot route. And that's an easy completion. You can see right there, I'm able to pick up a good 10 yards on that. So right here, uh, he's got a lot of guys into the, the box. And no one picks up that guy. There's no blocking right there. And I actually get, I get taken down for a two-yard loss. Deep curls right here. Um, looking at... Uh, basically the, the the hitch route but I jump it drop it down to the running back uh, don't get the don't get a good enough spin move right here but I'm gonna go back into a third and ten situation I'm gonna go into the uh, play action uh, veer and nobody goes into this area with the running back so I go ahead and check it down and actually pick up through uh, two yards so I'm attacking him underneath just as much as he's attacking me right here I'm looking down to the flat and then I got a little dragger and then on the back side of the end zone I overthrow the ball right there Burton was wide open and I come up he was playing cover two in the previous play so I'm looking for my tight end and I just threw into coverage 
there was a ton of people in that area, and I just threw right in the coverage. So four minutes and 14 seconds left. He's down on the one-yard line. I just fall right on my ass. I actually did not hit the gap correctly, and he actually gets a first down. Once again, trying to run the ball. I actually get a nice little animation right there to go and take him down for a, for a three-yard loss. Back to the double-A uh, gap because he seemed to have some trouble with it. I got a hard flat out here with the little crosser, but he hits me with a deep in on the back end side, just kind of anticipating what I'm doing on defense. So once again, having some issues right here, dude, uh, hook curl, got underneath coverage. He does a little crossing route right here and he just hits this and he gets me down to um, a first in uh, two minutes and 12 seconds. I've got two, two timeouts left. He actually runs the ball. I'm able to go and stop him right there, take another timeout. So uh, basically on a second and 11 type situation, I'm going with the blitz. I've got a hard flats. I've got a deep, I got an in route. I actually get a nice little sack right there to get him into a third and 17 situation. So basically take this down to a two minute warning. I've got one timeout. If I get one more stop, I've got an opportunity. Go into just an all out blitz right here. He's got some crossing routes, gets a nice little spin move or juke move and actually takes it down. Uh, I take my last time out and basically fourth and five situation. Um, I'm basically going to go ahead and with uh, a dime blitz. I just wanted to show him something different that he wasn't seeing before. And right here, he's got a guy in the corner. I'm trying to get to the guy and actually completes the ball as he comes back. And that's it, guys. That's the game. Uh, you know, I do post my losses. Uh, this guy, actually, that slide play was one of the things that I just really couldn't stop. And it just started, it, it established this offense, and it just made me make a, a lot of adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead and look uh, at that slide play and try to incorporate it in my offense. But once again, my subscribers, thank you so much for your support, guys. I'll be rolling out more gameplay with this Carolina playbook and defense uh, and hopefully providing you some more different tips to go and pick up some wins. Even if you do take your losses, you can pick up some, t some tips from your opponents. Thanks a lot. Until next time.